Hello there. Hopefully you are all well. Sorry, the uh, the flu is still affecting me. It's not as bad as it was the last time we were recording, but time for us to continue. Now, I'm not exactly where we should be. Let me warp back to the sanctuary. So we're going to be continuing from. Now, I've been doing some learning, keeping an eye on stuff, and obviously I've been progressing and finding stuff out. The catalyst that we currently have actually unlocks a vendor. So I think... At the end of this episode, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that in. We'll go back to the original catalyst, because the damage difference isn't huge, but we are going to get a new spell. The downside is we won't have a fourth spell slot for a while, which is a bit tough. But it's not overall too big of an issue. In addition, you're probably going to see that I've got quite a bit of uh, vigor comparison to, in comparison to where we ended. And that is basically because I did, in fact, go ahead and test the um, vestige farm, and it worked out pretty good, so... We're going to hit 20 Inferno. We're probably going to leave that there for a long time. Just so that our weapons are scaling. So we're going to end up with two of them soon. And we're going to want to power Radiance up later. I think for now we're actually going to go Endurance and Vitality like this. So a very spread, spread out leveling strategy right there. And then for now, we're going to level both of these until it's basically like uh, 15 and 20. And then we'll start bringing up Radiance, I guess, as we as we move forward. Although 2 and 12, we're actually, I think we're actually able to use the first Umbral spell. Um, I don't know how strong the scaling is. Like, if we get that to 2020, I don't know if that's going to be... I don't know how equivalent that's going to be to some other stuff. Now, I think at this point, it's a very good idea to just already be in the Umbral realm. There's kind of a bit of a, um, a loop that we want to do. So again, this game works in loops, and we have one right here to do. So we're going to get it done. And I'm so used to, because uh, that way we can come straight in here for this set. And then uh, we head on across. So used to having two of these now. <laughs> the damage speed is much higher. And that's the case. I feel like I'm missing the flame throw. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going to get the new spell. Um, after playing with some of the other stuff that we can get, we've definitely got some, some things to do. Go ahead and grab this. And I don't think it's the... That's no, not the drop down yet, there's another bit as well. So then over this side. Even more loot. Emperor and Grenade. Oh, that's where that, that's very important to get. Make sure you get the Emperor and Grenade. I know exactly what that's for. I was just like, I was thinking, like, where did we get that from? Okay, okay, that's that's an important thing for me to note right there. Very good. Oop, hello. Now, I am interested in finding a good Vigor farm. I may at one point do an hour of farming if I find a good one, just to make it comfortable as we go forward. This is um, De Demarose. Demarose. Make sure you get through all of the dialogue here. Make sure you get every last little bit so she's repeating herself. So I want to see Faithful at the end there. Nope, lamp, okay. Uh, this is actually the merchant that's going to sell us the second axe, and we need her to pass forward. So we're going to go ahead and get that happening. And then out this way is the next piece of loot. Is there anything there? No. Okay, see, so out this way. Next. Oh! I went too far. Let me cut back. Okay, this time I'm gonna get it. <laughs> gonna get it. Give me that. Thank you, Resistance Barn. I don't think there's any more in the Umbral Realm. So now that it loops us around, we can come back into Axiom, as it's called. And then pass on back through. Not too many enemies in here when you're not in uh, the Umbral. We do have a boss coming. It's kind of tough. It's not tough. I don't think it was tough. 
noticed that we are in a much better stat spread than when I did this live. Although maybe not because we've got umbral stats and we're not really umbrals right now. Alright, so we want to get into these real quick here. The enemy's not actually aggro. I can't talk. The enemy's not actually aggroed on us right now. It will be. Uh, this goes to an NPC. Okay, yeah. So what we want to do is just get its attention. Well, now it's not too bad, right? We just want to bring it over. Scourged Sister Delith. That's probably going to be on the title, to be honest. That way everybody knows where we are. All right, make sure the lantern is in your uh, left trigger slot, because we need to come down here, suck this away. Now we can actually fight it, because otherwise it would have been um, protected and constantly getting healed. It's just not ideal. As you can see, she's not exactly the fastest of enemies. She has good reach and stuff. Um, she's not too bad to parry either. Make sure you get damage on her when she powers up like that, because you just might as well. A trigger pressed. Didn't mean to attack there. Screwed myself over now. I want a kick, that's what I want. I want a heal. Maybe one more fireball. Make sure that's down. Yeah, you just need to get a kick on you now. Realistically. Come on then. <laughs> Give me this crit, no! Oh, I missed it. Foolish Joe. So nothing too bad in my opinion. We can range it. You can get in there, do parries if you want. Um, in fact, if you're a melee build, this 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 enemy is even easier. Realistically, because you can you can stand to base tank some of the hits. We just can't really. Damn it! I thought I was gonna get a second hit, and I got greedy. It's fine over now anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's everything done. Let's go just to... Uh, we can check to see, make sure there's nothing down here. Because I did wonder if there's any umbral stuff. No, I didn't look. When you go into um, Umbral and then defeat the boss, you get the 10% extra beat, do you? Interesting, isn't it? We do want this. Thank you for better healing. So you can plant a vestige there if you want. Um, I think we're on like... Yeah, I'm on five because I did the farming video. But uh, it's not really what I want to do for now. Kick this guy off. Um, and it's kind of funny that you can come across for that. Makes you feel like you're about to die, but you're not. Well, uh, that was so thrilling the first time. Like, oh no, it's one of them. And then, oh no, it saved me. Such a mix of emotions. Lacerating knife. Drone weapon. I was going to get him away there, not let me on the uh, platform. That's so annoying when it's one away. Like it's, uh, the, the annoying thing is, it looks like such a little amount of health, but it looks like 10 to 20 health, so you really do need to like level up a fair amount to make that count. Um, a lot of, from what I could tell when I've been uh, progressing forward and stuff, a lot of the upgrades are coming... Uh, a lot of the damage increases, should I say, are coming from the upgrades to the 
to the gear for a, lot of, a long period of the game. Okay, so if you were crazy enough to pay nine and a half K for the uh, Pilgrim's Perch Key, there's an arm set in there. I can't remember what it's called. This is the safest of them. The other two are high level, but there is an arm set in there, and I can't remember what it's called now. I did go and check my stream character to make sure. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten which one it was that we picked up. And um, there are three doors. Two of the, one of them also you can kind of suicide run in to get some loot, and then the door after that. You, uh, you don't really want to go in there right now. I just want to show one last thing before we close out. That's probably a bit unwise, because if I die here, it's going to be annoying. Um, because I do recommend that you put your vestige here. In fact, we could do that. Let's do that. And if I do have an accident here... I won't have to run all the way back. I just want to show you, when you come out this way, I'm going to have to use one of these to make this a, a, a video, part of the video. Right, I'm going to deal with you. Well, what's interesting is the arc, the arc actually helps you here. Because um, if you have a straight, a straight projectile, it usually hits that platform at the bottom. It's, it's interesting how the uh, different projectiles are good in, in different situations. We've got a big guy coming towards us right now, right? Now, I'm a bit interfered with, so hopefully it's not too bad. But we just want to... Whoops. Soul flay this out. And hold your left thumbstick to the left, and that's going to have it go this way. And he's going to fall off now. And that's how you can easily deal with these um, caged heads. There's quite a lot of them around this area. So just be careful. Obviously, we've got a load of stuff to explore. We're going to do all of this in the next episode now, because I want this to get its own its own episode, because it's just huge and there's stuff everywhere. So I'm going to end here. I'm going to fight these until the eye is full, because I just think it's a good idea. And then I'll uh, catch you all very shortly.